welcome back to the late night gamer we are ready for another turn another car first but first i would like to just briefly mention uh, something that came up after my last episode if you remember we placed two pieces of uh, each faction in territories where we had pieces before and um, uh, for the directorio what we choose to do after a die roll was to place them here, both pieces here. Um, the designer of the coin system, um, Foko Ruke, actually responded to this and said that you don't really have to refer to the chart, you have to go you can just go directly to the rule book. And that is arguably um, quite a, a bit neat, neater. Um, and if I had done that, I would also have seen a rule saying that you always try to place gorilla so that you can place a base. Now that would have meant that I should have placed the first gorilla in Havana and then a base in Havana afterwards. Because then the, the directory would have three bases, sorry, the directory would have three gorillas and then would allow them to place a base in Havana, making a major threat there. Now, um, this actually allows me to talk a little bit about the coin system itself because it's designed for four people and even if you don't follow the AI chart um, literally to the letter every time it doesn't really matter, it can, you can make errors in the AI chart priorities and it doesn't break the gameplay, which is really good and uh, because a human player could do anything, right? He could, he could rally anywhere without any priorities or do anything without any priorities other than the, you know the spur of the moment and and you can do that also here and that's that, that you don't break the AI system at all by doing that which is excellent so that was the little uh, thing I wanted to say before we start um, and then now the active card is this one which is the 12 yes very nice so you can see on the card that uh, the first acting faction is the 36th of July then directorial and the event is that it's a tale of survivors inspires movement a faction free marchers then free rallies at the march destination which is which is a, a, a fantastic event and i will definitely take that as the uh, 26th of july player because now i can move my pieces and i can free rally at that march destination Normally, a movement or a march costs money. If you look at the chart for march, it says that I can move friendly gorillas, of course, and the location is any space. But the procedure is that I move the gorillas into adjacent spaces. That's fine, no problem there. If the destination has support, meaning if it's if 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 the support marker is blue, so if it has support, oops, sorry. If it has support or is, an, or is an, an economic center and if moving gorillas plus cubes that exceeds three then activate the gorillas. So what that means is that basically if there are troops there that are more than three uh, when you add your gorillas and you have support there in the, in, in the people they will basically rat you out. And that means that when you, you know, your gorilla is marching into, say, Santiago de Cuba, and uh, no, no, that's a bad example because it hasn't support. Uh, yeah, okay, so if I go into Havana, for instance, then they have active support. Criteria number one is fulfilled. Population are supporting the government. And there are so many police and troops here that they will expose my gorilla and leaving my gorillas vulnerable for attack. So. Havana may not be a good option for March. So these things still apply even though the March itself is free. So what I'll do is hmm, I will um, instead I will march with one gorilla into Santiago de Cuba. So moving into Santiago de Cuba um, with only one and this place do not have support so the people here will not tell the government where I am. In addition, I will then free rally at the march destination. So when I rally, I can basically add a gorilla to the space 
or I can replace two gorillas with a base. So I'm not doing that of course because that exposes me a lot. When the government is attacking me they have to take the gorillas before the base and if there's no gorillas there then they will just remove the base immediately. So I'm going to keep my gorillas there. I'm going to do the rally by adding on another gorilla. Okay, so now you can see that I am almost even with the government in this space. Now they still have control, no problem there. Uh, so I still have control here and also there. Um, the government, here the government still has control. Okay, so that's my action. Um, according to the card, now it's the directorio. Now the event card is gone and they have to, to select this space here which is um, operations and special activity. So let's have a look at their flowchart to see what they'll do. Can they do a terror operation where there is active opposition or active support? Or can they assassinate where there is a government base? And yes, you will see that they can do that. Because, sadly for me, um, this is an active support. They have guerrillas there, meaning they can do a terror. If you briefly refer, refer to the terror here, you can see that what is it? A terror? Well, you can do it in any space with underground guerrillas. It costs one resource per city province. And they do it by activating one underground guerrilla in each selected space. Right, and then you do something other stuff which I'll show you, um, which I'll show you momentarily. So, you have to have an underground guerrilla. Yep, they have it there, also in their own province in Camagüey. Um, but uh, that Camagüey have only passive opposition, while here we have active support. So this is a place they will do a terror operation in. So how do they perform the terror operation? They will do a terror where there are underground guerrillas. First, where there is active support. They already located, that's Havana. Then, where there is active opposition. There's no places like that. And finally, at one other um, assassination target. But there's no no other because uh, they only have they only have uh, guerrillas in two spaces on the board in Camagüey and in Havana. So it's back to Havana. It's all about Havana now. And they will have to pay one resource to do that. So uh, first they will activate one of their underground guerrillas. This is the one doing the terror operation. And that apparently has a tremendous bad effect on the region or the city because um, because it actually shifts the support one level towards neutral. So that this one goes from active support to passive support. And for the government that is very very tough because now I lost six support points. I went from a times two 6 times 2 support from this region to a 6 times 1 support. And I also had to add a terror marker so that you remember that in this space it has had a terror operation. It has yeah, a terror operation, something happened. Okay, so what else do they do? The flowchart says that after the terror operation, then they will assassinate. And they do it where Directorio did maximum one terror operation and where the guerrillas outnumbers the police in maximum one space. So even if they did terror operations in more than one space, they will only assassinate in one. Luckily for me, I have enough police here so that the police actually outnumbers the guerrillas. Even if you count the terror markers. It's just, I mean, there are three guerrillas and four police. So they cannot assassinate. So they will stop that. They will not assassinate. So if if I didn't, that, that's the point with police now. When they do terror, when the guerrillas do terror, and the police will protect from assassination. Yeah, and assassination, that, that mean really is that they get to remove a piece. Or they can close a casino. Okay, so that's actually it for the directorial. 
The last thing I have to remember is to deduct all the resources for the, for the operation. Oh, and also, and that, yeah, I'd rather not do that, but I have to, of course. I have to move total support from 16 to 10 for the government. And no support is important also, um, also between rounds. Because um, if I do not have a certain number of support when the propaganda card comes up, then the US alliance will shift to one step down the ladder and everything I do will be more costly. I will be less supported by the US. So I need to keep my support high. I need to have 19 support in order to avoid that degradation or degeneration of the US alliance. Um, so. So um, uh, it's pretty tough, you can imagine. It's, it's basically my winning condition. Okay, so what happens now is that these two factions, because two factions have acted on the event card, goes to the ineligible faction. This guy, the syndicate, comes back up to the eligible factions. And we move to the next card. I will shift the card down to active and I flip this one okay and the active card now that is this card this is okay but the action order is 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 this and we know we know from from the box here that the only two that can do anything are the syndicate and the government so here the syndicate would go first and then the government would follow and it says movement splits with Castro. In a city, replace all 26th of July pieces with directorio counterparts. So you shift the guerrillas. Okay, so that's interesting. But um, let's see what's going on here now. Non player syndicate sheet. Yeah, okay. We go down, go, we see resistance civica here listed. That card, I will choose ops and special activity instead. So I'm not choosing the event, I will choose ops. And special activity, um, and that's interesting because now the government has to do a limited operation or take the one of the events. And both events says that you replace one syndicate faction with another in a city, and that's just useless for me. So I practically I will be forced to take a limited operation because I'm a human player, and then I can only do. An operation in one area okay but that's for further now it is the syndicate first question could the syndicate add guerrillas at casinos where they have none they cannot they have guerrillas at all the casinos well then syndicate would could they march to an empty economic center or with cash sorry they would march with cash only during the final propaganda card what they will try to do there is to reach closed casinos and open them so that they can win the game. Now is the question, would, could you march to empty economic center? And yep, you can. Um, this economic center here is adjacent to Pinar del Rio and to La Habana. So they would march from one of these areas into here. So yeah, the answer to that question is yes. No. The way it's carrying out is that you will march with the guerrillas that can march. First, one to each economic center, empty economic center. And that is what we want to do. From where we have most guerrillas, but we have one in each. Then, where we have no open casinos, well, we have one in each. Then at random. Then, then, then is the question about if the next propaganda card will be final. We skip that for now. So march now. March cost one resource, and they will basically march from one of this region into here. And and we cannot make a decision on which by by looking at the sheet on which from which uh, area they will march. So we'll have to roll a die, and they will actually march with cash, which is kind of strange, but it may be a good way of protecting cash. So. On a 1, 2, 3, I will march from Pinar del Rio. And I got... I got a 5, meaning I will march from La Habana into this economic center. 
And the reason for that is that during propaganda, syndicate would gain resources from the center now. Because now they do some light shady operation syndicate type of business here at the economic center, and that will they will gain again from that when we count up our resources or so refill our resources. Okay, so that's it. They did not take the event, and their operations are almost finished. I only need to I only need to take away one of the resources for their march. Okay, very interesting. Okay, so here's another another thing. What happened now was that when they marched from La Habana into this economic center, they lost control. Or rather, it went from uncontrolled to 26th of July control area. Um, and I'm not sure that's a very wise thing to do. Because... If propaganda card comes up now, whoever controls the region with an open casino in gets the cash from that casino. So basically, um, basically, the 26th of July, the, the syndicate just handed the 26th of July this casino or the income from this casino. But uh, I will play it like this because I couldn't find any any. Um, I can do my house ruling, but I'm not sure. <laughs> it's so hard to see in the future. It could be a wise move, it could not be a wise move. I don't know. I will keep it and I will move to to um, the government. Move... Uh, no, sorry. The government has to either take the event or a limited operations. And of course I'm taking the limited operation. And I'm going to do what I have been announcing. Uh, I'm going to do something with Havana, regaining control there. So I'm going to do what is called a sweep in Havana um, and it says that well you can enter areas to locate enemy or gain control and I can also stay in my own area of course um, location any cities or province the cost is per US alliance cost two to four resources per space now there's a little bit of a typo here on the the, uh, the um, aid sheet that comes with the game so it should be Per space, not total. Um, and I do it by moving troops into adjacent selected spaces, but I can stay in my own space, of course. Then activate one gorilla for each cube there. And if there's different terrains, it will have different effects. Oops, sorry. If there are different effects there. Um, so I'll do that. I will stay here in Havana. I'm basically just moving it up and down here. And I sweep there and I will activate one gorilla for each cube and I have so many cubes that I will activate all the gorillas that are there. And because it's a limited operation I don't get to do a special activity. So that's basically the turn for the government. Um, oh no, not yet. I have to pay two resources of course. Like that. Um, well, at least I'm one step closer now to regaining control in Havana. These two uh, gets to be eligible, and, and these two are ineligible. And now we are playing Sinatra. And of the two factions there, the Directorio would go, will go first. They have a ring around it, so they will do something special. So the event says that it's over. It's an overpriced star. <laughs> Sorry, um, and the syndicate will lose six resources. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, and the shaded event, which is normally good for government, place an open casino in Havana, regardless of stacking, and then place one cash with police there, which is. In, I mean, the um, syndicate would love that action for sure. Uh, we have to see what's coming up. It's this one is coming up. 